Next, it's the new Leave it to Beaver. Whoa, what a trip. Oh, Kip, you're finally home. Aren't you going to give Kevin a hug? The clone, Mary Ellen. You're going there. It's daddy. Mm -hmm. we'd never get a chance to jam with the guys who opened for the guys who opened for Paul McCartney's brother. Here's a little something I've been working on. It goes something like this. Hey, Freddie, hey, before we start up again, I gotta call my dad. Uh, uh, call my dad. Uh, that's the name of a new song we're working on. Excuse me. If you got a peach pit for a brain, your dad will just tell you to come home. Don't call. It's 1.30 in the morning. My dad's gonna kill me if I don't call. At 1.30 in the morning, the old beaver's hibernating. He'll never know what time you sneak in. And if you wake him up, you're nothing more than an inconsiderate lout. <laughs> I think of it, he probably is asleep by now. Now that's a good sign. <laughs> All right. It goes something like this. Ringing. Tell Eddie to get a bell by huh? him. <laughs> Hello? It's Beaver. Kip's missing. I told you, I'll have the money Tuesday. <laughs> hey, let us in, will you? Hey, Eddie. Well, 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 if it isn't Buster Brown and his dog, Tig. <laughs> hey, B, if those are the pajamas you usually wear, it's amazing you even have one kid. Kip's missing, and we thought maybe Freddie might know where he is. We tried calling you, but your phone's busy. Oh, uh, yeah, I took it off the hook. Gert's mother's in the hospital. I didn't want her getting any bad news. <laughs> if she does, I have to listen to her wailing all night. <laughs> Can we talk to Freddie? Yeah, his bedroom's down the... See, which one is his bedroom? <laughs> Oh, hey, you know, when you're calling somebody this late, it's only customary to bring a little refreshment. Freddy's missing, too. Hmm. I could have sworn I saw him just a couple of days ago. Eddie, it's past three. Aren't you worried? Well, not really. If he can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed for him. <laughs> hey, wait up. Are you coming with us? No, but you can pick me up a six-pack. I got a seven o'clock tea time, and I'm bone dry. <laughs> Gertrude. <laughs> Love, pumpkin. I have a little errand for you. you been in the kitchen do you know what you put us through we have no idea where you were you could have been dead well aren't you glad i'm not what did you think kip that we'd be asleep and we wouldn't be any the wiser that was the plan kip are you okay i'm fine well 
I bet we're all real tired. Maybe we should talk about this in the morning. It is morning, young man. Kip, how could you do this to your dad? I can handle this, Wally. He was scared to death. I can handle this, Mom. Kip, I don't know what to say to you. How about I love you, so I'll forget this incident. This is serious. If you're going to live in this house, you're going to obey the rules. Dad, I'm 17 and a half years old. I shouldn't have to punch a time clock. You don't have to punch a time clock, and you don't have to drive the car for the next month either. Jeez, Tony Bellino didn't get in this much trouble. He was gone for three days. He was kidnapped. There is a difference. But, Dad, I need the car. We have a gig in Bellport next weekend. You don't seem to be getting the picture. You're grounded. Why are you doing this to me? You understand when you have children of your own. But, Dad... Not another word. Good job. Maybe this will teach you to listen to me. What do you mean? I keep trying to tell you. You're too good all the time. Whenever you try to pull something like this, Dad goes crazy. He's so used to me messing up. Now all he does is shake his head and say, What am I going to do with you? I'm a senior in high school. I mean, he treats me like I'm a baby. Hey, I'm going to be a freshman next year. He still clips on my mittens. I wish you'd get a steady girlfriend. Then you'd have something to do besides worry about us all the time. So which lecture did he give you? Your poor grandmother was scared to death, or do you have any idea how many gray hairs you gave me? No, he went with, one day you'll understand when you have children of your own. Well, when you do, be sure and only have one so the brother doesn't keep him up all night. up all day. Well, I've been trying to get it fixed. It's only got 5,000 transports on it. See? I told you not to buy the floor model. Oh, live and learn. So how was the concert? Incredible. You know, it's amazing. Even after being a rock star for over 25 years, it's still a thrill performing for only 700,000 screaming fans. Well, you're home now. So just relax and let your hair down. Good deal. Hey, now. Daddy's home. Uh, the kids aren't here. Uh, Kyle's not home from school, and Kurt took the hovercraft over to the Little League field. Oh. Any calls? Your ex-wife called from Saturn. She's still trying to find herself. Checks. Hello? This is Grant Avenue School calling for the parent of Kyle Cleaver. I'm his father. Something wrong? We're in the kitchen. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Letty. Hi, baby Eddie. Hello, Freddy. Boy, you look beat. And why wouldn't I? First mommy and me classes and then junior gym. And then baby Eddie had his IQ implant. I wish I could have helped, but I got busy trying that case in front of the Supreme Court, blocking the sale of Wyoming to the Australians. I can't believe the Japanese want to sell it. All I know is I'm exhausted. Oh, there, there, my poor baby pumpkin rabbit ears. Just sit down and relax. Hello in there. It's Daddy. Me. Oh, honey. I guess now's as good a time as any to tell you. I'm afraid this is gonna have to be the last baby. What? It can't be. You know how I do so love a little bundle in my arms. Oh, please. You know I don't like the children to see you like this. Besides, we have Grandma's birthday party to discuss. 
Okay, I ordered the flowers and the cake, and my parents said they'd beam in around 7. Uh, my little petunia, how old is your grandmother anyway? I have no idea. But I doubt if they print birthday cards that go that high. Oh, I have to try calling my brother again. Oh, Kevin called. He's coming? Uh, not exactly. He's busy, so he's sending his clone. Oh, not him again. That clone is so dull. Well, your brother's not exactly a ball of fire himself. <laughs> Kev! It's so good to see you. Would you like to try some of my lemon coffee cake that you love so much? Sounds groovy. But the school just called. Miss Giesba wants to see us about Kyle and Betty. What? My Betty in trouble? Oh, my stars and bars. Honey, don't you worry. I'll handle it like I always do. <laughs> and so, Miss Giesba, we truly regret this unfortunate incident. The fact remains, your children have committed adverse behavior number 410. 410? What is that? Cheating on a hearing test? In an appropriate response, number 410, leaving group while on field trip to the moon. Do you realize they nearly ran out of oxygen? Well, Miss Giesba, I can assure you we will take care of this. You will now address your offending offspring. Oh, Mother, you look positively radiant this afternoon. And, Miss Giesba, may I say your leg grommets look especially lovely today? That's enough apple polishing, young lady. I will be dormant while you discipline your offspring. Children, your uncle and I are very disappointed in you two. Well, in all fairness, we haven't really heard their side of the story yet. We just wanted to have a snowball fight in zero gravity. See? <laughs> and of course, we didn't go near the dark side. You just remember next time to tell your teacher before you go. That's it? I can't believe you. Something terrible could have happened. Oh, come on. How often do they get to play in zero gravity? Once, twice a year? No one was hurt. Let them have fun. Kids can't always have fun. They need rules. You sound like my father. They're young. Let them have fun. An inspirational philosophy, sir. Young lady, you're grounded, and for the next two weeks, you're going to the sleep chamber at 1,900 hours. Oh, Mom. Bummer. Thanks for getting me out of trouble, Dad. Hey, hey, hey. What are fathers for? Dad, you're the bestest. Hi, everybody. Hey, Kyle. Here's Grandma's favorite, the special cheese and soy loaf. Betty was up all last night baking it. Well, it takes time to get the crust flaky, not soggy. You see, I always had my water to my flour. Never my flour to my water. I Come stir, on. don't blend, three tablespoons of butter and just a pinch of gouda. Hey, Bee, there's something wrong with your bee. Oh, I don't know, dear. I think I lost a few pounds somewhere along the trip. Well, looks like it's all there to me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what did you bring us? Well, I brought you kids a big bag of vitamins. Uh. Oh, darn. I must have left the vitamins at home. Oh. Yeah. But I did bring laser monopoly. Yeah. And uh, nuclear horseshoes. Oh, and the Rolling Stones' latest release. I can't get no medication. Oh. Yeah. Have fun. All right, kids. Oh, Molly, uh, how's retirement treating you? Oh, it's terrific, B. We've been doing a lot of traveling. Just got back from touring the Los Angeles ruins. You know, it's amazing. They say people will actually be able to live there again one day. Mom! Dad! Kevin! How are you? Oh, I'm fine, Mom. <laughs> Wally, aren't you going to give Kevin a hug? The clone, Mary Ellen. Yes, yes. But you're just nice to him. Clones have feelings, too. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I am not your dad. Uh, Kevin, tell me everything. Come on, let's go ask. <laughs> Mom, Dad, can we go outside and play nuclear horseshoes? Sorry, kids. Grandma will be here soon, and then we'll be having dinner. Besides, you know how hard it is to wash nuclear waste off your hands. Ah, oh, let them play. No. Great Grandma! Grandma! Senator. Around here, I'm Grandma. You can grab me all you want. Okay, but that's three minutes left for goodbyes. Oh, Molly, this is family. Lighten up. 
And the senator's position on families is very well known across this great land of ours. Sometimes I wish you had a real job. <laughs> marshmallows in my pocket. That's it. From now on, if anybody wants to use the beam, go over to Kelly and Freddy's. Everyone, this is Babette. She's a uh, perfume model. <laughs> well, Eddie, you're, uh, you're looking good. Oh, why shouldn't I? I'm rich. Oh, it's just so sad that Gert can't be here to share in some of this happiness. But I console myself with the insurance money I got from her uh, unfortunate boating accident. By the way, Dad, the police are thinking about reopening the investigation. Ah, yeah, forget them. The important thing is that your sainted mother always wanted us to be happy. And thanks to the 42 million the jury awarded me, your mother's finally getting her wish. <laughs> Say, wow! You and the missus still wasting your time trying to save the whales? Uh, that's whale, Eddie. There's only one left. Nice job. Eddie, don't you see that she's just using you? So? In 20 years, I'll die happy. In 20 years, you'd just be dead. <laughs> Eddie, you're still a creep. Mm. Okay, everybody, dinner's ready. <laughs> oh, you're such a good helper. Come on now, sit right there. This is gonna be so boring. Especially since they start up again about how they used to have to walk three blocks to school. But we promised we wouldn't go outside. Hey, Sam, we don't have to step one foot outside if we take the beam. <laughs> oh, how wonderful we're all together again. Yes, lovely. Who wants soup? Oh. We have cream of broccoli and oh. tomato with rice. Mm. Oh, delicious. <laughs> Doesn't that look wonderful? Did you make that, Mary Ellen? Yes, I did. Oh, Great job. Thank you. Wonderful. Mm. Sure you can't get some taste. Oh, wow. Mm. 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 You seem to be missing someone. Huh? Kyle and Betty. I told them not to go out and play. Why can't you just let the kids have some fun? Teddy, would you please go out and find them? I don't think I can. Betty, you heard your mother. But they're not there. They took the beam. Nobody's supposed to take the beam. I even turned off the retrieve mode. Well, that means her molecules could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. Oh. My Kyle knows he's never allowed to take the beam alone. How's he supposed to know that? You let him do whatever he wants. All right, that's enough of that. The most important thing is that we bring these kids back immediately. Oh, yeah. See, these beam problems are a direct result of the current administration's policies. Grandma, I think we have a new issue here. Let's just find the kids. I'm on your wavelength now, Senator. Great photo opportunity. Shut up, Oliver. Come on, man. It's been two hours. You gotta find them. Look, I'm doing the best I can. Of course you are, dear. Do you think it's easy programming a household and raising a family without so much as a robo-maid? My poor little granddaughter. I may never see her again. Mom, that's why it's important to always save those fingernail clippings. But well, you never know when you'll want a clone. Dear, dear, no, 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 no. That's my luggage. Where are the kids? Thank Where's Kyle? Betty Haskell, you're in big trouble. You can just forget about summer camp on Jupiter this year. You listen to your mother, Missy. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Think what he'll save on pants. <laughs> don't worry, Kip. I'm sure his legs will show up. However, if they don't, thanks to the senator's new legislation, he can still be a productive member of society. Or he can be a bottomless dancer. <laughs> How can you take the beam? Don't you know you scared your father to death? 
Dad, I can handle this. How could you do this to him? Uncle Wally, I can handle this. Kyle, how could you do this to me? I mean, don't you know how scared I was? Hey, what's the big deal? You're treating me like a baby. I'm 11. I'm almost 11 and a half. So my legs are temporarily missing. Man, so is your brain. <laughs> you know, if you had followed the rules, this never would have happened. Hey, what happened to you, Dad? You used to be cool. You never worried about rules. Yeah, well, now I do. And you'll understand one day when you have kids of your own. Of course, if we don't get the rest of you back, you never will. Man, why don't you just wake up? Kip, wake up. Dad, did you find Kyle's legs? What? I was having the weirdest dream. I was growing up and you were really old. Yeah, well, uh, that's nice, but uh, get a move on. You're going to be late for your grandma's birthday brunch. Dad, are you still mad at me for last night? Well, of course. Because I care about you. Parents are like that. I just want you to know I'm sorry. You know, sometimes it's hard for a guy my age to realize what a lousy, frustrating job it is to be a father. And the hours are pretty bad, too. <laughs> yeah. Could, um, you do me a favor and take a look at the top of my head to see if I'm going bald? Tonight at 7.05 Eastern, it's World Championship Wrestling. Then at 9.05, when Dean Martin, George Papard, and Gene Simmons get together, there's sure to be a gun-shooting showdown. Rough night in Jericho. Now, top athletes compete in U.S. Olympic gold, a TBS sports exclusive, next on the Superstation. Oh, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba 